Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Rando Geek. Just a quick update for you. If you're a Frontier Communications customer, you may have gotten a notification that your information has been compromised, such as your social security number, date of birth, a name, maybe even address, other information. According to Frontier Communications, notifications were sent out of such an event. So it looks like here, hackers have controlled personal data of more than 750,000 Frontier customers. All right, so the key takeaways from this article, which I will link down below for you in the description, and it is coming from Fierce Network, is that data of more than 750,000 Frontier customers has been hacked. The company is offering to pay for full for uh, credit monitoring and identity theft resolution services. All right, so this way you can monitor your credit and see what's going on if any of your information has been compromised. Obviously, you'll notice if there's random charges showing up on your credit report, if some of your information has been compromised. Uh, they're also saying a cybersecurity news outlet says that the hacker group Ransom Hub is the ones responsible for this event. So customers of Frontier Communications have received a, a lovely notification, according to this article, uh, alerting them that some of their personal information has been accessed by hackers during a recent cybersecurity breach that affected 751,895 customers. Frontier says that on April 13th, some data in its IT systems was breached, and it noticed the hacking on April 14th. The company filed a SEC statement about the event on April 15th. The SEC statement says that upon detection, Frontier initiated its previously established cyber incident response protocols and took measures to contain the incident. This included shutting down certain of the company's systems, some of the company systems, which resulted in operational disruption. Uh, so in a statement here, in the SEC statement, they said, based on the company's investigation, it has been determined that the third party was likely a cyber crime group, which gained access to, among other information, personally identifiable information. In the June 6 letter to customers, Frontier wrote, based on our investigation, we do not believe your financial, your personal financial information was affected. They go on to say, we have notified law enforcement and applicable regulatory authorities, which uh, they state in the letter, we are offering you free credit monitoring and identity theft resolution services for one year through Crow to help you protect your information. So it looks like the security attack was made by Ransom Hub. The news outlet posted a screenshot of the uh, dark web showing that Ransom Hub says it has data from 2 million Frontier customers, including name, email, social security, credit score, date of birth, and phone number. The Black Marilla Group is giving Frontier until June 14th to pay their demands or it will sell the data to the highest bidder, according to Bleeping Computer. So they're the ones that originally uh, posted this information and then Fierce is just uh, redistributing it. But uh, basically, that's our update here. So uh, what is there really to say about this other than just another disappointment, another letdown? And what do we once again get, you know, free credit monitoring to protect ourselves from the company we're doing business with, <laughs> right? If, if, if they were more careful with our data, we wouldn't need to monitor our credit. But I guess that is the price we pay for doing business and doing online transactions. So as much as I want to pick them apart, I do think they need to do better, okay? I think all these companies need to stop making excuses and they need to be able to handle customers information better and i think the fcc needs to step in and figure out i've said this before and you know i have to repeat myself because there's really no other way to explain it and for those of you that have not seen those videos and you're new these companies need to sit down they need to have dinner together and they need to figure out what they can do help each other out to protect customers information in a better way and the fcc needs to organize that event Right? They need to organize that event, have all these big tech companies come sit down, and they need to talk about a better way of doing this, a better process, because unfortunately, thus, us, the customers are the ones left holding you know, the empty bag here. We're, we're the ones with the problem. We're the ones that's going to have our data on the uh, dark web. We're the ones that's going to have, you know, we're going to pull our credit report and see a brand new car on there that we didn't buy, Right. And then now we got to dispute it and it's just a headache. We shouldn't have to deal with it. And we get the offer of the free credit monitoring. Yeah, that's nice. That's cool. But 
if you were doing your job securing our data, we wouldn't really need it. And that's really all I can say about this. That's basically just, you know, giving you, you know, the, the real feel of what I think about this. But there's, again, not much we can do, but hope that eventually the FCC steps in and, and tries to assist these companies in a better way of taking care of our information. Otherwise, it's just a gamble. Every day, we do business online, and it's always been like this, right? We, we got to be careful. I guess we have to try to use bank accounts that we don't really hold any money in. We have to, uh, you know, use emails that we, you know, that are junk, made for junk, so we don't get all this weird spam that we don't care about. I, I wish we could give fake dates of births, you know, and fake social security numbers as well. I don't know. Maybe we can figure out ways around that too someday. But other than that, I mean, we're just... Basically, we're at the mercy of the companies. We got to hope that, uh, you know, whatever breach happens, that it doesn't affect us, uh, at least not too greatly. That's really all we can do. All right, guys, as always, I want to thank you for stopping by and watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.